this is Brian Hendricks and we're gonna take this uh, head off of this conventional form here and put a change out panning coyote head on there instead and this is how you will receive these they come wrapped in plastic like that and we need to uh, open this thing up it's got the socket on the back of it there's a little instruction sheet <laughs> <laughs> There's an instruction sheet there on how to do the cast lips. See these rubber bands off of here. The mask is loose, it's supposed to be. The tongue, we can take that out. And then on the back side, here's the socket we have. Now, You'll occasionally, some of my early coyote forms have a complete round post on them, the body does. And the socket on the closed mouth coyote heads is completely round, so there's no issue there. But when you want to put one of these open mouth of any of, uh, any of the choices with the open mouth onto one of my previously sculpted bodies, you'll need to cut a little chunk off the bottom of that post so that it'll swivel on there. But, uh, but I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to cut this one off. And I'm going to show you how to create a post that this will fit right onto. Okay, here we are with the profile view. And for this position of this coyote, the way it's going to be mounted, I don't want it looking right down its nose. So I'm going to fasten this head on at it with the nose down more, and the coyote will be looking out that way right there. So I want you to see this angle, and I'm going to try to cut this head off as close to this angle right here as I can get it. Okay, there's the angle I want. I'm just gonna make a little mark on there with the black marker here so I can see where to cut that. Let's take a handsaw and I am gonna just quickly cut that right off. Okay, I'm just gonna prep that a little bit. We're gonna use Bondo to create that new post. So I'm making some little holes here for that bondo to grab onto. Okay, I'm gonna run a screw in here. I'm gonna kind of pick the center of that circle, and start to screw. And as I run that through there, I wanna keep it perpendicular to that, that flat on the back of that head. Okay. Now it came out right there on the front side. You see where it came out. So now I'm going to back it out. Back that out. And turn it around now. And run it through the other way. And what that does, that brings that screw right in the center. So once we create that post on that neck, we'll have that option, we'll have that availability to, to rotate that on that screw then. Okay? That's the reason for that. Now I've got that angle where I want it on that head. So while it's there, I'm going to run that screw in there. Okay, take it back off. We're ready to do some bondo now. So we want to fill this, this uh, socket with bondo and have enough extra to go right onto that stump of that neck there. So you're kind of wondering, well, how much bondo do I need? Well, here's a paper cup, the end of a paper cup that's like the same size as that hole right there. So that's going to give me a real good idea. If I fill that up to about there with Bondo, I know I'm going to have enough to fill that and smear some onto there. So that's, that's approximately how much Bondo I'm going to mix up. Okay, there's my Bondo in the cup. There's my hardener on my knife. And I am going to mix that up. Okay, that's mixed up pretty good. And the back... The sockets on these heads, right out of the wrapper like that, there's enough mold release in there from when they when they poured these that you don't need to put any extra release in there. I've never had a problem with them popping off of there. So now I'm going to take and uh, I'm going to pour my Bondo into there, fill that right up. I'm going to smear that into those holes that we created there so then we know it's going to be good and strong on there. Make sure 
sure you're not over top of anything important because you will have some squishing out when we screw that on there. There's how much I put in there, so pretty much everything. Okay, I'm just gonna stick that right on there. Try to line it up best I can. Squishing it on there. Tell where it is. Up there. I like to just stand back there and make sure it's you know looking where I want it because now's the time to adjust that you can always pull that screw back out and tip it this way or that way a little bit up and down is what we're concerned with right now we'll have the side to side the tip of it we'll be able to rotate that so we just want the up and down it's a good idea to have something have its chair or a spot back there that you have it focused on and don't move the body at all from the time you cut you know you test fit your head on there where you want it. So once you screw this thing on, you can walk back there and see that it's looking right where you want it. Okay, this Bondo is kicking. It's kind of rubbery right now. So while it's rubbery like that, I'm gonna knock off all this extra stuff around the outside of it here. You can just kind of pop it off with your finger usually. It's just a whole lot easier now before it gets set up. Okay. I'm going to let that kick for just a little bit yet before I try to pop that off of there, but you don't want to leave it set for a couple hours or anything, um, or the next day, or you might not get it off of there very easy. But uh, like I say, I'm going to let that kick for just a little bit and let it get just a little bit harder. This here is a piece that I broke off of this side over here, and it's still, it's still warm and a little bit flexible yet, so that's, it's at the point where I want to knock it off of there. Or take the head off so I'll run the screw out and we should have a we should have a head post I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a twist just a little bit to pop that loose there it's like that that should be all it takes to knock that off of there and there's our post and there's our socket okay while that bondo is still a little bit warm I'm gonna knock the edges off of that carve that off a little bit Say it's a whole lot easier than after it gets all hard and cured up. Okay. Grab that head. Okay, there's our post. Here's our head. I'm gonna make sure that pops back on there. And there it goes, it fits right on there nice, but it doesn't swivel much because we filled that complete socket in. So like I say, while that's still not fully cured, I'm gonna carve off those two corners right there. And that's gonna let that, you'll see real good on that side in a minute here. That's gonna let that thing swivel more. Let's see what I'm doing there should be enough now when I put that on there I'm gonna be able to twist that there we go I could take a little bit more off of that side I guess I think it's right there see if you wait till that's fully cured then it's a lot harder so I can swivel that quite a bit. Straight the tongue back up. And now remember, when we mount this though, we're gonna run that screw right through there when we fasten that head on, and then that'll swivel right on that screw. And there you go. So there's our completed post. There's the socket. 
there's our completed post where we knock those corners off and there's the screw hole where that's, that's gonna go right in there and allow that to swivel on there.